Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to identify the nerves in the lower limb. So if we look at the lower limb like this and we remove the sartorius, you have a better view of the femoral nerve. So this is the femoral nerve and this is the femur, specifically the head of the femur, right? Here is the femoral nerve. If we look posteriorly and we remove the gluteus maximus, the biceps femoris and the semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus, we can see here the sciatic nerve. All this the sciatic nerve and then the sciatic nerves branches, and then this one that goes down all the way down posterior to the tibia this is the tibial nerve the name is just tibial nerve okay so the tibial nerve goes all the way down all oh, this is the tibial nerve now this branch that you see here this is the common fibular nerve and it goes here and right here, the common fibular nerve will split into two. And it will give rise to the deep fibular nerve and the superficial fibular nerve. The superficial fibular nerve is the one that stays on top of the fibula. And remember, the fibula is the bone that's more lateral. The tibia is the bone that's more middle. So this is the fibula. The superficial fibular nerve is the one that stays on top of the fibula. And the deep fibular nerve is this one that goes and stays on top of the tibia. The way you should think of this is that if you're right here and you are the common fibular nerve, and I tell you, go superficial, you will keep going down superficially on top of the fibula. But if you are right here and I tell you, go deep, your only option is to go deep and then you go deep into the leg and you end up on top of the tibia. That is this one. So this is the deep fibular nerve and this is the superficial fibular nerve. 